we see in the dead of night a masked, young-looking man approach the front door of a house with a gun in his hand, stand there for only a few seconds, clearly contemplating what he was about to do, then backing out probably Bro, in fear Timmy is leaving. nervous! The owner of the house didn't know who this was. But this was probably a person gun, working like... up to an armed robbery, possibly having a sight Shaken. Specific. Scary things caught on ring doorbells. Alright, let's see what's cracking. I'm interested, because I probably got some crazy stuff on my ring, bro. My ring is crazy. The man you're looking at is 56-year-old Stephen Groves. What's up, Stephen? For two whole years, Groves has been harassing his disabled neighbor Stephen Persaud and his caretakers. Well, that's kind of harassment has been caught on Persaud's ring doorbell camera multiple times. Damn. In some clips, he's seen taking a screwdriver to the device, trying to clip its wires. Wow, that's dirty, bro. Wh what was that? Look at him, he's just trying to unplug it. In like, another clip, you, he's bro. seen scrolling on the lens with a marker to no effect. Yeah, bro, that doesn't work. We can still see you, bro. <laughs> I don't think he knows that we can still see him. And in these instances, whacking the device with a hammer or broom handle. Bro, these are built to last. Holy. What is wrong with this guy? Bro, this guy is so mad. What is he so mad about? Bro, just relax. It's never that serious. I promise you it's never that serious. The reason behind the man's attacks on his neighbor's property are unknown. Over the past six months, Groves has been convicted of three charges of harassment against Persaud, and has been put on a curfew and ordered to pay compensation for damages to Persaud's property. Stephen Persaud's niece is terrified for her Bro. uncle. Having stated this is That's affecting dirty. her mental health, and she's scared that Groves may have intentions to harm her uncle. There's something, the there's something up with this guy. The put into place is clearly having no effect, as Groves is still harassing Prasad. Look at he doesn't on care! On top of the restraining order, Groves has been put on an electric tag for the better part of a year, and was also ordered 20 weeks of rehabilitation. Bruh. Police don't seem to be able Bruh. or willing to do anything more to help, considering this has already been taken to court. He don't Groves care. He, he, multiple times. he doesn't he care anymore. In a very vulnerable spot. The crazy Damn, bro. In this man's eyes. Look at him. And it's he looks nuts. And his Yo, to be look at sleep over this. Look, look, look. As this is a clear... This guy is nuts. There's... I, I gotta put the mic right here. Bro. There's something up with this guy. I, I don't know what it is. But there's something up with this guy. I, I, I can't tell you what it is, but there's something going on. I, I don't know what's really up with dangerous, him. unstable man who may escalate from just attacking yeah, Prasad's this, property this guy's like to nuts. actually attacking him. Or some, or worse. Literally, or worse. This video was recorded in an unknown area at a late hour in the night. Two hooded, suspicious-looking individuals, one wearing a mask, approach a man's front door. And when he answers... The woman pretends that her car broke down and she needs to borrow a phone. I don't ever trust nobody. Sorry. Call the... Call the... Go somewhere else. Not here. Ain't coming here. Sorry. Opening the door. Does he open the door? Hello. Do y'all have a phone I can use? My car broke down and y'all's the only one that got a light on. We don't. You don't? Sorry. No, we don't. Oh, no. Idiot. Idiot. Absolute idiot. Absolute idiot. Chris, what up? The man's first Shh, mistake is opening the door to the, the two hooded individuals. You know what I'm saying? Being that his ring camera would have allowed him to mind. check who's at the door before opening it. Instead of, of opening the door, if he felt the need to respond to the people at his front door, he could have and should have used the voice feature Bro, on his ring device to ask it. who they were and I what they need. Would Instead, the man opens the door, and while admittedly he knew better crazy. than to agree to let them use a phone, pulls out the we don't. You don't. Sorry. Opening Sorry. the door in the first place was a mistake, as the man in the yellow hoodie and mask took the opportunity to rush the door it. with a gun after taking one last look to the right to check for witnesses. Luckily, the homeowner slammed the door shut just in Hit time. Hit him with the Remington, and the two would-be assailants fled the scene. <laughs> in this him. case, the homeowner saved Hit himself him. from robbery Bro. and danger just by the skin of his Hit teeth. him with the Spaz 12. He at his door before answering. That's crazy. That's crazy. If you've seen any of my other videos about doorbell camera footage, then you'd know the importance of checking your surroundings before unlocking and opening your door, especially depending on the area in which you live. 
In this video taken by the Ring Doorbell wow. camera of TikToker Jojo Ramirez, you see just how close she and her child were from she danger. She opened the door, and how walks the only in. thing between her and a creepy man was her front door, which she locked with only seconds to spare. It just shows how there. most of us in our day-to-day -day lives fail to realize how at any moment your life could be put in Bro. danger by it's because there are weirdos out there. Like, this guy has probably not had human contact in, like, 10 years. This guy is an absolute... As I'm, as I'm screaming into a microphone. This guy's a weirdo. There's something, like, up with this guy. I, I don't know. He, he needs to, like, I don't know, see some sunlight, get some, some vitamin C, and just relax for a little bit. This is, this is outrageous. Someone else that. Get out of here. Who is that? Get out of here! She then exclaims to her son, there's a guy outside, look. There's a guy outside, look. As Jojo shouts for him to leave, he backs up, but boldly continues firmly standing in front of the door with his haunting blank expression. Yeah, because he's a not freak. saying a word. He needs to The man came out of nowhere so something. quickly that it could be that he was following them uh, for a while. Yeah, probably. Or perhaps was waiting for them to return. Yeah, I don't know, bro. It's anybody's guess what would have happened if the door wasn't locked in time. But there a pretty strong assumption world, would be the man was after Daniel, Jojo's young son. Yeah, probably. He looks like a freak. That's usually what This footage do. was viewer submitted, and it was taken by their ring doorbell in a nice, otherwise quiet neighborhood in the Netherlands. Okay. The viewer was in bed on an ordinary night when he heard noises on the roof. Thinking it could have been an animal, he ignored it and went to sleep. Okay. The next morning, this was the footage he found after seeing the notifications from his ring doorbell from the night before. In the video are three, maybe four young men Trying trespassing to scale on his property, his house? two of them climbing the roof, while the other of the three who are visible, whispering to one or more people out of view of the camera. Bro's got no mask on. They've got no masks on. Please tell me this guy's got a mask on. I don't think this guy has a mask on either. Is there something wrong with people? Yeah, he's got no mask on. I'm I, I'm dumbfounded. I I don't understand that people are this stupid. Everyone has rings nowadays. Dude, people are actually that dumb. Luckily, this was a cold night, and all the windows in the house were closed because it was clear they were trying to burglarize the house. Uh, scratch yeah. marks were found on two of the Duh. upstairs windows, as if someone was attempting to lift them open. Bro, people Given are Given that so there were weird. three or four of them, they could have posed a serious threat if they were to have entered the home. After viewing the video, the viewer made sure to keep his windows all locked the following nights. Chris a few would nights later, he woke up to the sound of someone attempting to open a downstairs window, this time not caught by the ring camera. I would have pulled the up. The footage was submitted to the police in hopes that they could identify them based on their faces. Shh, shh. I was asked to blur their faces by the viewer, just so that if any of the perpetrators were to see this video, they wouldn't come back to the house again for any type of revenge. Bro, they wouldn't want to come back. This one is perhaps one of the simpler yet scarier clips caught by a doorbell camera, despite how quick it is. Not many details are known, like where this took place, this but this was uploaded by the already. neighbor of the owner of the ring camera. In the video, we see in the dead of night a masked young looking man approach the front door of a house with a gun in his hand, stand there for only a few seconds, clearly contemplating what he was about to do, then backing out probably Bro, in fear Timmy is leaving. nervous. The owner of the house didn't know who this was. But it, this was probably a person gun, working like... up to an armed robbery, possibly having a sight Shaking. specifically on this house. Of course, without all the details, that's wrong, just speculation. Bruh. And there could be a whole lot of other explanations Idiot. as to what's going on here. Timmy, However, bro. regardless, the chances of this guy or any other look person at, with a bro, look at how he's holding it. He's holding the barrel in his hand, bro. Timmy, you you go go go, go back to playing Fortnite, bro. The gun what coming are you back doing? shouldn't be taken lightly. Who are you robbing? And that kind of footage should be submitted to the police immediately. Who, who are you robbing? But that is actually gonna do it for me today, guys. Hopefully, you did go and enjoy today's video. And if you did, don't forget to smack a like on it. That'd be greatly appreciated. The support on the channel has been absolutely insane. I apologize for the lack of uploads, but I'm telling you, we're back. But with all of that being said, my name is Chris, and of course, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.